Hello Internet, my name is Hazel from Hazel Nutty Games and these are my first impressions of Ironclad Tactics. This is an indie strategy game from Zaktronic set in an alternate history civil war. It is unique in that it is a strategy card game with no microtransactions. There are cards, you unlock them, you do not purchase them, there is no purchasing. Let's take a look. So the options menu will start there. It is fairly basic and that's all it really needs to be. Um, there's no real need for anything fancy here so you can adjust your sound. Um, voice chat is built into this game for the, um, the co-op which is kind of nice and then of course you do have windowed full screen windowed and that's just nice to have. It's a shame how many games don't have that built in but it is available here. All right, as you go through the campaign, the story is delivered to you in comic book style cutscenes. Here in the story tab, you can go back and watch them again. We're going to take a look at the first one to give you a feel for the art and the story. So that's very all the way back here. We have Maxwell and Joseph in 1845 with their fishies. Maxwell and Joseph in 1853 at the science fair. Poor Joseph. <laughs> Maxwell and Joseph in 1858. And there they are. 1860. You would think they were brothers, but they appear to have different last names, so apparently not. The art for this game is stunning. It's... I love it. Can't get enough of this. It's really that important. And we've arrived in New York. Gorgeous stuff. The story is very cool, and the wit that you get in the, um, in the dialogue from the story is quite funny. I have a soft spot in my heart for the sense of humor that is in this game. I wanted to show you what I've been working on. Give me a moment. Da da. What's he doing? Everything makes you nervous, Joe. Joe does look like one of those guys. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> and it's awesome. <laughs> So that is the idea of the story. So you will get cutscenes like that before every um, level that you play in the campaign. So let's go ahead and jump into a match and figure out what those look like. So you can actually go back and redo any matches that you had before to unlock additional cards. You can do that by um, achieving certain um, certain requirements in the match, which is kind of cool. And you can see how many you've unlocked. So let's progress. Let's take a look and do the... Uh, let's back up to a slightly easier one so that I don't absolutely muck it up, but we can actually uh, show you kind of what's going on here. Alright, so this is a very unique... it's laid out in a very unique way. Use the infra to hold mortars and gain victory points. So your cards, your hand is set to you on this belt here, and that's gonna... that's gonna move through um, and pass gonna move through and um, cards will go off one end and become available on the other so you have access to all the cards that you see here and you can cast them using action points which will accrue on a turn to turn basis you cannot pause this so it is in real time you do have a limited amount of time to think your units will progress along each individual track unless you cast a move that maneuvers them into a different track and then they will attack everything that is in front of them there are human units and then there are uh, mech units if a mech unit encounters a human unit it will run it over and squish it um, mech units do not automatically become equipped with weapons all right, so let's put a chassis here. You win the match not by destroying all their things, but by gaining victory points. And you gain victory point by getting um, a unit of yours that has victory points involved across to the opposite end of the map. There we go. So I really should have paused the movement of my dude there because that would have made him a lot. That would have given us extra victory points because he got run over there by the, uh, the chassis that was available up there which is kind of how this works. So I'm going to pause my movement so that I'm standing there to get additional victory points. Um, that is actually going to just fire the cannon on each individual turn. There we go. Four additional points for me. So he's going to get two from that. I'm going to get two from this, and I can now deploy another chassis. So I'm going to do just that. You, will, you are able to customize your deck. You have up to 20 cards in your deck, and then you can add or remove them as you unlock them, and then try different decks for the different encounters. So there is lots of replayability here. There we are. Uh, human units can control... In certain maps, there will be points that you can um, control in order to gain extra action points in each round, which can be a very useful thing to have. There we are. So you can see my chassis on this side is um, right up in front of this other chassis. Mine has a gun, and his just got the gun now, so I'm probably going to win that fight, which is very neat. That is exactly what I want. I'm going to deploy a rifleman into the top here. So this is all mouse-driven. I don't believe there are keyboard controls. You don't really need them. Um, you just click, and then you click on the, onto the lane in which you wish to deploy your unit. 
There we go. We're going to get another chassis here. I am winning by one point so far. Uh, I believe my dude is about to get crushed by the uh, these guys here. And there you are. So it's quite fast paced. Um, it's not, it's not, it's a casual game. But because you can't pause it to think about your moves, you do need to be keeping an eye on everything that's going on in the battlefield and also keeping an eye on the, um, on your cards that you have available to make sure that you're spending your action points as efficiently as possible and that you still have enough to do the things that you need to do. There we are. So I just killed off both of the riflemen and the scout has gotten, then gotten into that point. I am quite ahead here because I've gotten a couple of units past them. If this guy can get through, I will win. Uh, same thing if I can get another point through this cannon here. Um, it's very advantageous to be controlling those cannons. All right, there we go. Yeah, throw a musket on this guy because why not? Oh, 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 that one got a saber. That's bad. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, everything's got health bars. You can see just to the left there. I got the extra point. I have become victorious. There we go. And it'll show you the amount of turns taken. Okay, so I've unlocked X amount of cards here. And when you mouse over, it'll tell you what exactly you need to do to unlock this card. So if I had used those mortars to gain eight victory points instead of like the three, then I would have unlocked three additional cards. Same thing if I could do it without ironclad weapons. So that's kind of cool. All right. What else? There's online multiplayer available for this game. So if I back out, I gotta see if I can get into a match um, of online multiplayer. We'll, uh, I'm not sure that it's going to be available, but we're going to give it a try. Let's leave the lobby, go back to the main, and try and do a random 1v1. I haven't been able to get into this yet, and I'm just going to try it with the deck that I have. It might not work because I haven't optimized this for multiplayer at all, but we'll see. See if you can find a match to put, put me into. Here we go. Okay. So, we are playing against somebody furious. All right. Chassis. Too fat, too furious. Saying GLHF. It's good to know that we have good sportsmanship in this. I am awful at this game. Oh my god, he's unlocked so much more stuff than me. This is not going to go well for me. Alright, well, I'm going to get a gun. <laughs> oh dear. So, this will show you what happens when you lose. So, he is getting victory points all off the bat. And hopefully I can get my dude into that same order just so I can start doing the same thing. He's got all sorts of different kinds of units that you will unlock as you get through the campaign later. So, it's probably advisable to be getting yourself... Um, through the campaign and through the single player before you go into the multiplayer, but you know, that's kind of neat. I just wanted to show you that it is possible you just can queue against random people, and that is exactly how things work. So there appears to be some kind of a fence that blocks movement of units but not attacks. So I, it appears that in this map I need to get people through on the top and the bottom lane instead, which is kind of neat. All right. Let's deploy chassis in the bottom lane there. Just hope that guy's got like a giant grape shot cannon. Which is going to be kind of unfortunate. I put a musket onto my dude. Hopefully I can, uh... I've got a bit of a longer range, so I'm actually going to stay right there. <laughs> See if I can maybe, uh... Mm, do some damage. Oh my god, what is that? Earthmover Hulk. It can push enemy ironclad. That's ridiculous. Oh man. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I am not going to win this in the slightest, but you know, you get the idea. Let's see here. And if here's his crazy red shiny ones, don't actually give him any victory points, but the Earth Mover Hulk is going to give him two. Oh, I might even be able to get, I might even be able to get through on the side here. We'll see. We will find out. And let's deploy a chassis. Let's see, let's see if I can get something through on the side. I have a feeling I will not, but you know, it's worth a shot. And we'll start moving there, and that guy is going to absolutely obliterate my chassis on this side. You know, it was worth a shot. It was a nice thought. I'm going to use my field repair, move, and heal my thing up. And oh dear lord. So there is a wide variety of units that you can unlock through doing the different missions and achieving those different requirements in the different missions, which is very cool. So tons of replayability in this game. Um, that combined with the online multiplayer, combined with the fact that you can do the, um, the campaign in co-op, you can do it with two people. I don't know exactly how that works, but I know it's possible. So I would recommend that you pick it up and try it out. So this is Ironclad Tactics. It's available on Steam for $14.99 in US dollars or $22.50 will get you two. So you can get a two pack for you and your friends and then do it in co-op and play multiplayer against each other. Here's a link to the Steam page in the description below. I can strongly recommend this game. This is going to be my go-to casual strategy game for quite some time, especially after I finish the campaign and get all this cool stuff. 
Um, make sure that you subscribe if you're interested in new first impression videos for every Thursday with gaming content five days a week. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates and snarky wit. There's gonna be links for those things in the description also. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Defeat! That didn't take very long. That was not close at all. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!